Hello and welcome to the BIS Talks. Today we will be talking about the standardizations done by the Mechanical Engineering Department of the Bureau of Indian Standards. Have you ever wondered what roles machines play in our lives? Look around you and you will definitely agree with me that they help us make our lives better by improving our safety and performance. How efficiently machines will function falls within the ambit of mechanical engineering. Today, we are going to tell you about the standardization in this field. Mechanical engineers use principles of modern science to create machines to meet a wide range of human needs. Hence, the objective of mechanical engineering is to create products that complement modern living in every way. But every mechanical product is not equally efficient, reliable or safe. That's why it becomes even more important to make them follow seamless quality parameters specified in the BIS standards. When it comes to setting standards in India, the Bureau of Indian Standards is the ultimate authority. Till date, the Mechanical Engineering Department of BIS has formulated around 1,356 standards. The division is responsible for a vast number of areas within its domain touching our lives in multiple ways. These areas cover products, code of practices, methods of test, terminology, among many others, which we have listed here for you. BIS officers do not formulate standards in isolation. There is a streamlined mechanism to involve all relevant stakeholders of the particular field in the process of standard formulation. Let's first hear from the Chairman of the Council. Mechanical Engineering Division of BIS oversees standards for heavy engineering, serving the core sectors of economy such as energy, mining, transportation, as well as the light engineering sector encompassing consumer goods to utility products. MEDC is organized with 28 technical committees entrusted with the responsibility of formulating, updating and adopting standards needed for the products and processes. The technical committees are headed by industry experts in the respective domain to bring in latest concepts and standards needed for upgrading Indian products to compete in global markets. MEDC is playing a pivotal role in evolving and upgrading standards, thereby uplifting the quality benchmark to make products globally competitive, which is vital for sustaining economic growth and boosting Indian economy. Let's hear from the head of the department who leads the effort of setting standards in BIS for the Mechanical Engineering Department. It is the constant endeavor of BIS to formulate standards and revise standards that are in line with national priorities and emerging technologies. The areas of work under MED can be broadly categorized into refrigeration and air conditioning equipment for domestic and commercial application, domestic appliances and kitchenware, gas cylinder and LPG equipment for domestic and commercial use, pumping system and water well drilling, renewable energy equipment and energy management system, security equipment for commercial use and ballastic equipment for security forces, aerial ropeways, amusement park and water park, industrial engineering plant, construction plant and related equipment. To state it simply, wherever there is a need to ensure safety, reliability and efficiency of products and tools that require mechanical expertise, the department has an active role to play by setting standards. Let's take a look at what these standards do for us. We will take you to some of the areas that directly connect to our lives. India is a tropical country with most parts experiencing hot and humid climate. Living in such places without an air conditioner makes life quite harsh. 
usage of air conditioners and refrigerators has extended beyond comfort. It has been directly linked to health and efficiency and is being used extensively for domestic, commercial and industrial use. But all this comes with the cost of high energy consumption. BIS standardized these products to ensure good performance, efficiency, decreased power consumption and better safety. To know more about this, let us hear from Member Secretary BIS. There are two Indian standards on room air conditioners, IS 1391 Part 1 on unitary air conditioners commonly known as window AC for up to 3 ton and IS 1391 Part 2 on split air conditioners commonly known as split AC for up to 5 ton. These standards specify the safety and performance requirement of single or three-phase, non-ducted with single, two-stage, multi-stage, fixed and variable speed air conditioners and heat pumps. Various tests like power factor test, maximum operating condition test, power consumption test for cooling and heat pump, cooling capacity tests, etc. are specified to ensure performance. High voltage test, leakage test, earth resistance test, safety test for A3 refrigerants, etc. are specified to ensure safety. Both the products have been brought under the quality control order. That means all air conditioners will come with an ISI mark. Another air conditioning product that is used for commercial application is IS 16590 water cool chilling packages, commonly known as the chillers, using the vapor compression cycle. It covers the general requirement, method of test for measurement of the performance and energy efficiency of water cool chilling unit, covering all types and sizes of single phase and three phase supply. Various tests, such as heat balance test, cooling capacity test, power consumption test, sound measurement test, and test for unit with integral pump in on and off mode, etc. are specified. Here is the list of some key standards under this area. Have you ever wondered what modern life would be without a refrigerator? I mean, not just about the ice and cold drinks, but the huge lot of conveniences they offer in terms of storing food and other stuff. Refrigeration helps in preservation of food and beverages, which in turn affects the health of an individual. It is also a source of income generation for small shops which sell commodities with limited shelf life. Modern life also demands commercial refrigerating appliances like deep freezers, walk-in cold rooms and display cabinets. I think you will agree with me that to be completely efficient and effective, they too need to follow seamless standards. Let's get more clarity on the subject from our expert. The standard on household refrigerating appliances have been revised recently where the direct cool and frost-free technology have been merged into a single standard. This standard specifies the essential characteristic of household refrigerating appliances cooled by internal natural convection or forced air circulation. The tests defined in the standards are meant to assess the fundamental design and operation of a refrigerating appliances. Various tests such as storage test, cooling capacity test, freezing capacity test, mechanical strength test, electrical safety test, etc. are specified to ensure performance and safety. Here is the list of some of the key standards under this area. Let's move on to our next subject. 
I think there is no doubt in any of us that it's absolutely necessary to pick the utensils that are safe to use and is efficient enough for this specific function. Also, the pots and pans we use for cooking and eating has to follow stringent quality parameters since it directly affects our health. The most visible sign of implementation of these BIS standards could be seen on the humble, everyday pressure cooker. The pride of every kitchen should come with an ISI mark, that's for sure. IS 2347 covers the requirements for domestic pressure cookers. To ensure the safety and quality of pressure cooker, performance tests like material, capacity, air pressure, proof pressure, operating test for pressure regulating device, test for removal of lid under pressure, test for composite base or bottom, test for induction compatible base, test for hard anodized surface, burst test, test on handles, etc. has been specified in this standard. Now for the other pots and pans we use to store, cook and eat food. Their quality too has a direct bearing on our health. For instance, the standard IS 14756 prescribes general requirements, quality of material and thickness for stainless steel cookware. IS 14756 lays down the requirements of cooking, serving, storage type of stainless steel utensils. To ensure the safety and performance test like material, staining, mechanical shock test, thermal shock test, dry heat test, coating thickness test has been specified in this standard. Other important standards under this area are listed here. Let's move on to our next subject. Cooking gas mostly comes in the form of LPG or liquefied petroleum gas. This is the go-to cooking solution that we are so familiar with and the risk factor gets minimized to negligible through the standards set by BIS. Let us now understand this better with a manufacturer who will acquaint us with the value of standards. IS 3196 Part 1 standard is for manufacturing cylinders for liquefied petroleum gases LPG. As all are aware, LPG cylinder is an integral part of the kitchens for cooking purposes. This standard lays down the minimum requirements for the materials, design, manufacture, construction, tests and marking on these cylinders. Depending on the capacity, the construction can be two-piece or a three-piece cylinder. This standard prescribes requirements like design, welding, minimum thickness, wall connection, foot ring, well protection ring, heat treatment, etc. This standard also prescribes tests like radiographic examination, water capacity, hydrostatic test, pneumatic leakage test, fatigue test, hydraulic bus test, mechanical tests to ensure safety of the cylinder. Other important standards under this domain are
Up next is the gas stove. The importance of this standard can be estimated by the fact that there are about 300 BIS licenses for one single product, the LPG gas stove. To make them safe, efficient and reliable, multiple tests are conducted before certifying LPG stoves which have been specified as per IS4246. A relatively new entrant to the field is the gas stoves for use with piped natural gas or PNG that is covered by IS17153. With more than 50 lakh users, usage of PNG as a cooking medium is now on the rise. There are two standards on gas stoves, IS4246 on LPG and IS17153 on PNG. IS4246 Domestic gas stoves for use with liquefied petroleum gases specifies construction, operation, safety requirements and tests for domestic gas stoves with metallic bodies with or without toughened glass top intended for use with liquefied petroleum gas at 2.942 kN per square meter gas inlet pressure. To ensure the quality of the product and safety of the consumer, various tests are performed such as strength and rigidity, flame stability, formation of soot, combustion ratio of carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide, resistance to drought, noise control, thermal efficiency. The standard for PNG, IS17153, domestic gas stove for use with piped natural gas is similar to IS4246. The difference is in delivery pressure of PNG, which is 2.14 kN per square meter, and minimum thermal efficiency of PNG stove is 50%, whereas for LPG it is 68%. Here is the list of some of the key standards under this area. Let's move on to our next subject. IS17018 Part 1 talks about the standard related to solar photovoltaic water pumping systems. Centrifugal pumps specifies the technical requirements for solar photovoltaic water pumping systems for handling clear cold water covering design qualifications and performance specifications. Pump set of this system can be installed on a suitable bore well, open well, water reservoir, water stream, etc. To ensure the quality of product and safety of the consumer, various tests are performed such as provision for earthing, sun simulator PV module tester, dry running, open circuit, short circuit, surge protection and total water per day. Here is the detailed list of more standards pertaining to this area. Let's move on to our next subject. India is a land of abundant sunshine. This makes solar energy one of our most widely available natural resources. And this reflects in the increasing popularity of solar products. The Bureau of Indian Standards has laid protocols for testing for solar water heaters, namely preconditioned test, exterior test, leakage test, stagnation test, external thermal shock test, internal thermal shock test, resistance to impact and thermal performance. A thermal performance is a measure of the efficiency of a solar water heater. It is measured as the difference of temperature at the beginning of the day and the heated water achieved at the end of the day. Higher the temperature, better is the quality of components used. Our testing laboratory and R&D center is established to test all raw material used in the solar water heating systems. For each batch of evacuated tube supply, impact test using a 120 grams stainless steel ball is conducted. Stagnation test is conducted for each batch of 
ETC tubes. Only three layer tubes are used to assure required efficiency. The pre-painted PPGA sheets with top coating of minimum 20 microns and a bottom, bottom coating of 7 microns are used for outer cladding and undergo various tests including checking coating thickness, impact test, pencil test and hatch test. All tests are conducted as per IS 16368 of 2015. Here is the list of some of the key standards under this area. Let's move on to our next subject. If we are asked to make a list of things we need for a complete peace of mind, I am sure most of us will have safety and security at the top of that list. Not just for our own selves, but also for the things that we value. Stuff that we have earned and assembled by spending time and energy, our most important assets. Simply said, to keep our earnings and valuables safe, we need a safe. IS 550 Part 1 specifies the dimensions, general requirements and performance criteria for safes used in financial institutions and commercial organizations. This standard is published in three parts. Other parts in the series are Part 2, Test for Burglary Resistance and Part 3, Test for Fire Resistance. To ensure the quality of products and safety of the consumer, various tests are performed such as burglary resistance, fire endurance, fire and impact test and lock operation test. Here is the list of some of the key standards under this area. IS 5244 is the standard specification for safe deposit locker cabinets. These afford security to the precious articles, documents or anything that needs to be protected from unauthorized access. To ensure the quality of the locker and safety of the consumer good, the locker unit shall be tested for its performance against burglary attack with the common hand tools. The locker unit shall be able to successfully withstand such attacks for a period of not less than 15 minutes. Recently, India has also been able to establish a new technical committee, TC332, in ISO on security equipment with India bagging the secretariat role for managing the committee. The department has also made its foray into national security. Numerous standards are under the process of formulation. The subcommittee on standardization on ballistic security products has taken up the subject on BP Morcha, BP Bunker, BP Patka, Mobile Sentry Post and Observation Tower for standardization. As we all know that Indian Armed Forces, Central Armed Police Forces and other law enforcement agencies face threats from small arm ammunitions during flushing out operations, room interventions and other similar type of operations. Standardization in the field of personal safety has always been a challenging issue to render more secure products to operator and to consumers. Recently, BIS has published IS 17435 Ballistic Shield Specification. This standard prescribes the minimum performance requirement of ballistic shield for protection against small arm ammunitions and provides procedure for their evaluation. The scope of the standard is limited to the physical and ballistic evaluation of the ballistic shields against in-service small arm ammunitions used by Indian Armed Forces, Central Armed Police Forces and other law enforcement agencies. To ensure the quality of the product and safety of the consumer, various tests are performed such as ballistic test, multi-heat test, wet test for polymeric material and extreme temperature test. IS 17525 Specification on Bullet Resistant Morcha This standard prescribes the minimum performance requirement of bullet resisting morcha for protection against small arm ammunitions and provide procedures for their evaluation. 
the scope of the standard is limited to physical and ballistic evolution of the morcha against in-service small arm ammunition used by Indian Armed Forces, Central Armed Police Forces and other law enforcement agencies. To ensure the quality of the product and safety of the personnel, various tests performed on the products are ballistic tests and multi-head tests. These standards are considered for procurement by various government agencies under Ministry of Home Affairs and Ministry of Defence. Here is the detailed list of most standards pertaining to this area. Let's move on to our next subject. The MED touches life in so many ways. We can't possibly cover all of them within the scope of this one show. But our story will be incomplete if I do not share with you another interesting area where mechanical engineering plays a major role. I'm talking about the ropeways. You must have seen them in the mountains, taking people and materials over steep inclines. This special form of transportation uses a tensioned wire rope supported above the ground to carry persons and materials. With modest power demands and no need for tracks or roads, they also help in preserving the environment. Standards on roadways cover the design and construction of continuous movement monocable aerial roadways with fixed grips or automatic grip, to and fro movement bikeable aerial roadways, reversible movement monocable aerial roadways with fixed grips, unidirectional intermittent movement monocable aerial roadways with fixed grips, and continuous movement bikeable or tricable roadways with detachable grip, intended for the transportation of passengers and goods. To ensure the quality of the product and safety of the consumer, various tests are performed such as capacity test, wind action test, maximum speed and minimum spacing between vehicles or group of vehicles, rope guiding, crossings and dangerous areas. Another important product under the same category is amusement ride. IS15475 part 1 to part 6 deals with the code of recommended practice for amusement ride safety, general information, design manufacture and erection, selection training and supervision of operators, operation and maintenance, procedures and performance tests. Various tests performed to ensure safety of amusement rides are operational limits of rides, forces or dynamic effect on passengers, maximum exposure time per element of ride, reaction of the ride structure to collision, safety against slipping, safety against overturning, safety against drifting and endurance test. Here is the detailed list of more standards pertaining to this area. Let's move on to our next subject. IS16819 is adoption of ISO 12100. This is a type A safety standard. This standard specifies basic terminology, principles and methodology for achieving safety in the design of machinery. It specifies principles of risk assessment and risk reduction to help designer in achieving this objective. Procedures are described for identifying hazards and estimating and evaluating risks during relevant phase of the machine life cycle and for the elimination of the hazard on the provision of sufficient risk reduction. Guidance is given on the documentation and verification of the risk assessment of and risk reduction process. This standard provides strategy for risk assessment and risk reduction. IS3177 standard covers requirements for design, manufacture, inspection and testing of electric overhead travelling cranes and gantry cranes for use in steel work and other location. 
This code is extensively used by designers, consultant, heavy industry like steel industry for lifting loads in indoor and outdoor applications. Based on average working hours per day and minimum average total life in working hours, this code classified cranes as M1 to M8 types. This code covers both mechanical as well as electrical aspect of the crane. Regarding mechanical aspect, requirements for design procedure, hooks, wire ropes, sheaves, track wheels, buffer, bearings, gearbox, uh, lubrication system, rails, operating cabin, platform, etc. have been specified. Regarding electrical aspect, requirements for power supply, cable and conductors, electrical protective and safety equipments, contractors, emergency switches, design and selection of motors, crane controls, lifting magnets and load holding devices etc. have been specified. For safe operation of the crane or in idle condition, tests like main hoist and auxiliary hoist, cross travel motion, bridge motion that is long travel, no load test, load test, overload test have been specified. IS4573 Power Driven Mobile Crane Specification This standard covers wheel mounted or crawler mounted power driven mobile cranes of the fully mobile, full sling, part sling, non sling type, truck mounted fully mobile, full sling, part sling and non sling type, and semi mobile and portable type cranes. Various tests such as functional test, overload test, testing of indicators, stability test and performance test with rated load are performed to ensure performance and safety. I will talk about IS5456 that is related with compressors. This standard prescribes type test and routine test for both reciprocating and rotary type positive displacement air compressors and exhausters. This standard does not deal with centrifugal and axial flow compressors and machines giving a pressure rise of less than 0.01 MPa and greater than 6 MPa. Various tests and requirements recommended for quality assurance are mechanical tests, capacity free at delivery, specific power consumptions at various pressures from minimum to maximum working pressures under full flow conditions, and maximum operating speed, volumetric and overall efficiency of machines, lubricating oil consumptions, testing of loading and unloading mechanism, and flow of cooling water if applicable with rise in temperature. IS 13095 Butterfly valves for general purposes covers double flanged and wafer type of metal seated, resilient seated cast iron, ductile iron and carbon steel, stainless steel and line butterfly valves for general purposes. Valves covered under this standard are manually, pneumatically, hydraulically or electrically operated. Various test requirements recommended for quality assurance are performance testing, body testing, seat test, disc strength test. ISISO 10821 is on industrial sewing machine safety requirement for sewing machines, units and system. This standard specifies safety requirement applicable to sewing machine, units and systems designed for professional such as industrial, commercial or laboratory use in industries including clothing, footwear, leather goods, shirts, knitwear, gloves, upholstery, packaging industry, shoe repair, etc. The significant hazards, hazardous situations and events identified in the risk assessment is significant for this type of machine and which requires action to eliminate or reduce the risk. Safety measures and requirements for mechanical equipment, electrical equipment, control, control gears, thermal requirement, noise radiation, ergonomics, etc are provided. Here is a detailed list of more standards pertaining to this area. Standards are the milestones of a nation's performance and well-being. Compliance to them is an absolute necessity with no exceptions. 
BIS ensures compliance to the existing Indian standards and systematically tries to bring new subjects within the sphere of standardization to keep pace with the latest technologies. Some of the new and emerging areas are aluminium alloy gas cylinders for LPG, ammonia refrigeration system, built-in gas hops, bullet resistance mobile sentry post, bullet resistance retrievable bunker, combo valve, gas stoves with ceramic burner, hand pump come solar pumping system, insulated flask, insulated container, low pressure cooker, 990 liter LPG cylinders, multiple split system air conditioners, observation tower, portable LPG appliances and residual pressure cylinder wall. In order to make standardization process more transparent and open, BIS has digitized the standardization process and launched eBIS portal so that all the stakeholders, be it manufacturers, consumers, users, etc., can participate in the standardization process in a constructive way by submitting new work item proposal for standard formulation, reviewing published Indian standards, providing comments on draft standard under wide circulation, and applying for membership in the technical committees. The BIS e-governance portal, Manak Online, provides a comprehensive view of its activities, including on standardization. This portal serves BIS technical committee members and also other users of Indian standards. Filters to view the aspect-wise Indian standards classified based on test methods, product specifications, codes of practices, etc. is also available. The list of Indian standards relevant to various ministries and departments can also be accessed online. Details of published Indian standards and draft standards open for public commenting are also available. Proposals can also be submitted through the portal to make new Indian standards. Details about the technical committees, members and their affiliations through Manak Online are just one click away. Only if we maintain standards, we will be able to reach our development goals and fulfill our promise to the people. That's the pledge of BIS, Mechanical Engineering Department, augmenting national growth. The journey goes on with the new frontiers opening up. To know more about the programs and details of the department and its functions, you can visit our website. Thank you.